In this problem, we're told what average mechanical power must a 70 kilogram mountain climber generate to climb the summit of a hill of height 325 meters in 45 minutes. Note, due to inefficiencies in converting chemical energy to mechanical energy, the amount calculated here is only a fraction of the power that must be produced by the climber's body. So this right here is what's going on, right? So we have this mountain, right? this is our mountain. And so this mountain climber is going to climb all the way up and it's 325 meters, right? The summit of a hill, right? So this is going to be uh, our drawing, right? We know the mass of the person is 70 kilograms. We know the time it's going to take them is 45 minutes, right? So what are we solving for? We're trying to solve for the average mechanical power. So we're solving for P average or, right, the average power. And so the formula we're going to use for this one is the average power. You need to know it's equal to, in this case, right, the change in the potential energy over the change in time, right? So think about how this works. We can find the change in potential energy, right? Because potential energy, the formula for it is MGH. Right, M and G both stay constant, but H is going to change. So it's essentially just M G change times uh, the change in the height, right? So this right here is going to be uh, basically the change in the potential energy, right? Because this is potential energy, and the only variable that changes is the height. These don't change, so that's going to be the change in the potential energy. And then the change in time. Keep in mind, we know how long it's going to take—45 minutes. But when we do this, we need to make sure it's actually in seconds. So. Let's just go ahead and start plugging stuff in, and then we'll convert it as we do it. So the average power is just going to be equal to the mass, right, which is 70 kilograms, right, multiplied by g, which is just 9.8 meters per second squared, times the change in height. So what are they changing in height? They're going up 325 meters. So multiply by 325, and then we're dividing by the change in time. So what's the change in time? So it's 45 minutes, but we need it in seconds. So it's really just going to be 45, right, because if we want to convert 45 minutes times, and then we know there's one minute for every 60 seconds, right? That's going to convert it. You just multiply by 60, right? So 45 times 60, right? I'm not going to actually multiply it out. I'll just leave it in for this. So if you go ahead and do this, right? Plug in your calculator, 70 times 9.8 times 325. Divide that number by, right here, one second, 70 times 9.8 times 325 divide by 45 times 60 sorry about that when you do this you're going to get 82.57407 and so on i'm just going to round to 82.57 and then keep in mind what we measure power in we measure it in watts right because we used um, kilograms meters per second squared and yeah when you solve this you get it in watts so 82.57 watts this right here is going to be your answer. So 82.57 watts, uh, that's going to be the average mechanical power for this problem. And so yeah, uh, this right here is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.